Hey, good to see you again. Let's talk about effort. Last time we spoke about achievement is skill multiplied by effort. We spoke about skill. The three things, speed of learning, slowness, what do we use extra time? What's the rate of learning? How much do you learn? And now let's talk about effort. They did a lot of research in teens with boys and girls, say between 12 and 18 years old. And what is their intelligence and what is their achievement? And they came aware that girls are more successful in their marks than boys. So they started to do IQ tests and other kind of tests. Are girls really smarter than boys? And they came aware that's not the case. We have the same intelligence. Maybe we're different wired a little bit. We perceive things differently, but we have the same intelligence somewhere. So then I came aware, hey, but then how come that girls have a better achievement, higher marks? And I came aware that boys in the age between now, in the puberty, have a lot of distractions in their mind. And you can think about all the distractions boys have when they have their puberty. And girls are much more self-disciplined in that age. So where boys say, okay, homework, let's do something else. Girls said, let's do our homework. And they started to really to do their homework. And based on that self-discipline, they had much more achievement. So when they say about effort, that's almost the same as self-discipline. The other part they also describe in effort is the grit. How really, how gritty are you when you want to achieve something? And that's the second part. They also became aware that girls in that age are much more gritty than boys. So for us, it's somewhere the case. And you can, now, knowing everything, you can do your own measurement. Hey, when I look at my own achievements in life, how's my skill? What is my speed of learning? What do I do when I learn something with the extra time I still have? What's my rate of learning? How much did I really learn about something? When you've then done that and you have an awareness about it, then look at your effort. How is your self-discipline? How is your grittiness? Are you really willing to do it? And do you take your time and do you sit behind your desk and learn it and see it and observe it? Or just like to do some cherry picking and then run away? Now, looking at that, make your own measurement, do your own check and see how it can work for you. How you can really have a better achievement in happiness, in success, in a flourishing life. See you next time. Ciao. Thank you.